Okay, I'm making this video real quick on how to shape the X-frame. So um, since last week when I first sent it out, um, or sent, uh, posted about it, I've shipped a ton of these, and uh, duh, I forgot to make a video about how to make it actually custom to your head. Obviously it's flat right now. That's not gonna work, it's not gonna be comfortable. It's gonna rock, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat mold it. Pretty simple. Now, why don't I just say that? Why do I need to make a whole video? It's a little tricky because of the size. It's not tricky. Here's my solution I think that helps uh, for one possible problem you might encounter. So anyway, because of the size, you might not have a container large enough for it. So what I found at the office was, um, instead of using like a, a bowl that it won't fit in, I just grabbed a plate. Now if you have a large bowl or a, um, like a Tupperware or glass container that you, it'll fit in, perfect, it's all you need. But I didn't have one at the office, but a plate, it will fit in, okay? So what I did, I just I just heated up some water for about three minutes uh, in a mug in the microwave, and I'm going to ever so carefully. I guess you know I'm going to do this right up here, where it's a little bit safer as far as uh, the water gets anywhere, because it's not all going to make it into the plate for sure. And I'm just trans transferring it to the plate. Don't want to burn myself. There we go. Doesn't have to be a ton. And I'm just going to set the X frame right in here. Go ahead and grab something to get it out with. So pretty simple. We want it above the point in the back of our skull because we want it to be able to come straight down. So it's already soft. It, it was probably took 10 or 15 seconds. You can see how it bends. I'm gonna set it right here and I'm just going to try to evenly press on it, okay? And that's it. Now you could have, I could also have done it this way if that's the direction I want. Uh, but for now, I'm going to assume that this is the way that I want. Okay, sorry about that, I had a little camera issue. Um, but at this point, it's all done. It's shaped, it's ready to use, okay? So if you see, if you're gonna use it passively, okay, you can just attach your mask straps to it here. The straps that attach to your mask frame um, will secure here and hold everything just where it's supposed to be. Um, if you want it more permanently affixed, you can use the hole to allow you to stitch it to a piece of, you know, a piece of cloth, whether it be a surgical cap or a hair tie or something or you can use the hole to wrap a hair tie through around your bun or your ponytail or whatever. Um, or if you're like me, uh, I designed the hole specifically to receive um, a portion of a little button. I have that, that little kit, it's like six bucks or something like that, I can't remember, on Amazon. And what it does is it has the male end that you attach to your surgical cap and then your, the female end attaches to here. It literally, there's two pieces, take a hammer, tap it together, and it's done. And it takes no time. I've attached a bunch of them to different head caps at my office, trying out different ones. Um, but anyway, at that point, it'll snap on, snap off, and that's my favorite approach. Um, my hygienist has hers, you know, one of them just has it sitting freely, and then, um, yeah, it just depends on how you like to have it secured. But anyway, at that point, it's formed, it's ready to go, and should hopefully, being that it's formed, it should distribute forces evenly across the back of your head. Again, mem remember to keep it up high. Don't have it down here, or it will creep down, and it will pull pressure on your ears. You want to have it up a little bit high, so that if you drew those lines, this is exactly where it's going to put the pressure and hold it secure. All right, thanks so much.